So let me ask you guys, did you guys understand that? Did you guys understand the, the automation part where the, your email, your uh, sequence of emails go out, how, what type of emails you're gonna send out, uh, why you have call to actions in those emails, and then how you automate from one email list to the other that you can use for segmentation, which I'm gonna talk a little bit more right now about. Something else you can do with segmentation is, is this. So. Something you can do with this, which is interesting, is have all of your subject lines. And I've seen this actually increase open rates drastically is instead of sending one email, like one general email to everyone. So like for me, being an affiliate marketer like I am, I might have done a promotion for, you know, for whatever, for Gear Bubble. And I might have did one for Shopify app. And I might have did one for Script Engage. Okay? I'm just using these as an example, um, not really Obviously I was part of these ones, but, but knowing that my list came from these places, it would befool me, it would actually help me if I actually put that into the subject line. So I could say customers of, customers of Script Engage. Okay, so customers of Script Engage, um, you need to see this. Or I can test this, right? So that'd be one, you need to see this. Or top seven ways to crush, to crush it online, right? That's another one. I could test it out and try a couple of them, but the idea is, is to have this in the parentheses, customers of Script Engage, or even just have Script, in, uh, customer, script Engage customers just to keep it short. Cause you wanna have it short too. Like you might run into an issue where everything's really long. And one thing that you notice too, when you're looking at your email, like if you open up Google and use Google email, do you have like the area that has like the subject line that goes in right here? And then that has like that subject line. Okay, and then after that subject line, it has whatever the first, it has the first words in the actual message itself. So on the very top of your email, so like the very top, if you're writing your email, see if we can see all this, yeah? So on the very top of your email, there's this little area up here that you could actually write a message and you can actually make it clear where nobody can see it when they open this up, but in the subject line, they can see it. So that, this could be a huge waste of space if you're not using it correctly. So that's pretty cool, right? You guys following along? Awesome. So this right here is literally a waste of space if you're not using it. Now you can have this dragged long thing or you could have like unbelievable new tactic never seen before, you know, whatever those hard hitting uh, headlines are inside that part and you don't have to waste it. Or you could even make it part of the message because if you just had like deer, so-and-so, okay, if you had dear so-and-so, that's the first thing they're gonna see right here. And that might not really work necessarily. But earlier, like we were talking about uh, data, okay? If you have data on people, especially the people like in, in physical products, going back onto that, if you have data and you have their names, well, now you can actually use names. You can actually take your email, once your email autoresponder picks that information up, they actually have like these weird little, looks like like hashtag or, or pound sign. And then it's like got some code in here, like first name. Okay, you can take that code and stick it right here. And that's the first thing they're gonna see. So it'll say like hard hitting subject line.
<laughs> I'm kind of just writing quick, but hard hitting subject line, first name right here. So they see that it's like, Carl, have you seen this? Question mark. Have you seen this? Carl, are you missing this? Right, whatever it might be, okay? Whatever it might be, Carl, have you seen this? Carl, have you, are you missing this? Carl, before this closes, Carl, tick tock, Carl, this, you're missing out. Carl, I've been trying to get a hold of you. Carl, where have you been? I'm concerned. <laughs> get whatever you need to do to get them to open up that email because then once they open up the email, they can actually find out, uh, they can actually do more messages and give you more information. So, so anyway, I hope you guys are getting this. I hope you guys are understanding like the subject lines, the, the wasted space that's right there. Um, the different hard hitting subject lines that you can do, um, getting people interested, like the top seven ways to do whatever it is that you want them to do, the how to, how to do this correctly. Uh, you've been doing this wrong all along, uh, whatever it is, like certain things like most people never thought of this before. Um, unbelievable new product, new something, new whatever, new or free something. Those are all really, really hot words to use in your sales message, in your headlines. Remember headlines sell. Headlines are the most important thing with any news company. They're all about it. You should pay attention to what they're doing in their headline to grab your attention because literally that's what they're doing. They're grabbing your eye and they're grabbing your attention. And that is what I've heard is now one of the most precious commodities online is people's attention. Not necessarily just their eyeballs, but their attention. So if you can get their attention, then uh, you can sell them something because you should already know and already been able to target that person, especially at this point. So I'm gonna erase this. I think we're pretty good. We talked a lot about segmentation, um, talked about lists, talked about automation. Um, what else did we talk about? We talked about really just the wasted space on the, uh, on the list. Just trying to think if there's anything else. We talked about uh, A-B split testing. We talked about how to get, uh, we talked about the AR autoresponders and how they work and how they send and receive mess, uh, information. So we've, we've definitely talked about a lot of really cool stuff at this point. So I really hope that you guys got a lot of knowledge um, as far as email marketing goes. So if you are on the replay, watch the replay. Tons of cool, valuable information. Um, definitely just want to make sure I give out to you guys. I'm just giving, totally just giving you guys free information. Tomorrow, uh, we are going to be going over a, you got to join the webinar to get onto it, but it's free. Not going to be selling anything. Um, let me see if I could share my screen real quick. If I share my screen, I'll show you guys, I'll give you guys a little bit of a depth, uh, in-depth look at what I'm talking about. So let's see here. So you guys should see my screen right now. Okay guys, so this is a taste, a little taste of what we're gonna go over tomorrow. And there is a, uh, there's actually a spot on this list or on this uh, uh, message where you can join and get into the, uh, the webinar itself. And we're basically gonna go, we have now at this point did $668,000, actually more, we had a webinar today. So I wanna tell you that we've actually done more since then we're probably, we're creeping up on the $700,000 mark with the Shopify app launch. And because we're doing webinars and stuff like that, we're offering this still, we're still able to offer this before Chase does go to the SaaS model where it's gonna be monthly and that's just how it's gonna be from there on out. But at this point, we're still offering this and it's still growing and I think I, I'm really, Within four months we did this, so I know we could get to seven figures pretty soon, pretty quickly with this. Very excited about it, but this is what we're gonna go over. We're gonna talk about uh, the case study. We're gonna talk about the software that we used uh, to get uh, to get into this, uh, or that we got to, to get in this business. I'm calling it breaking in, the breaking in case study because I'm just like you guys. I started, I had to start literally with nothing and stack ideas and stack information in here. Um, Someone said, and I noticed people using free fr.ee. Yeah, I've seen people do that too. I'm not really sure how well that works, but I think that the word free sometimes it gets caught up in the uh, email uh, autoresponder, or not the autoresponder, but the email service that gets picked up. And there's also a spam filter too. Usually most email autoresponders have spam filters. So Robert, just to get back to you on your question. So uh, going back into this case study that we're gonna do tomorrow, we're gonna go in, why I'm calling it the breaking in is because literally, 
uh, no one really knew who me and Chase were in the industry. So we had to break into the industry in order to be known. We had a phenomenal product. We built a phenomenal, uh, uh, what do you call it? a funnel, which I'm going to show you exactly how the funnel works in this case study. I'm going to show you guys exactly what, uh, what do you call it? What kind of a software we use, what kind of tools we used to crush it in this business. So I'm going to show you guys exactly everything we did to basically pull, pull dollars out of a penny. We did some things and I actually talked to a lot of people in the industry and I gave, and I showed them the strategy. I went to a really high level mastermind not too long ago and I shared this with them and people were, that had been in this business forever, big people, seven and eight figure earners said, wow, they were blown away. They were like, how, where do I get this software? Where do I get that software? They wanted to know and I'm gonna give, I'm gonna divulge all of this to you guys. No questions asked for free, nothing. Just all you have to do is just sign up. There's a, a link right here, right above here. Sign up for it. I'm using I'm using Webinar Ninja, which I just got from uh, AppSumo for like 50 bucks. So I'm just testing it out. But uh, it only holds 100 people. So I can only have room for 100 people on that webinar. The webinar is gonna be awesome. And like I said, it's just me, like I've been doing for the last four days, is giving you guys tons and tons of value. We're on now the uh, the more intermediate stuff, really the more advanced stuff on these on the subject of this last two events. So today we just talked a lot about email marketing. I started out a little bit basic, but we got into the more uh, explicit stuff. We got into more of the advanced stuff so you guys could start thinking about your email strategies. Now there's a lot of other software out there that you could use that work and are just becoming as effective as email, but email is by no way going away. So make sure you guys sign up, make sure you guys are a part of that. Uh, congratulations to the winners. If you're not signed up for all of our uh, videos, after this, I'm gonna be rendering these videos. I'm gonna be sticking them up at schoolofshark.net. Everybody that joins has access to those videos for free. And then I'm going on the road. So I'm gonna be on the road for the next like three weeks in a row. I'm going to Montreal uh, next week. Uh, me and Chase are going up there for the I Am Summer Camp. Then right after that, I'm going to LA for a high-end mastermind with some incredibly cool people. And then after that, I'm flying over to Atlanta with some more really cool people in the internet marketing industry. And then from there, I'm going to the um, the event, the uh, the affiliates affiliate summit uh, east which is in new york it's going to be in times square i'm going to be there for a couple of days i'm going to be hanging out with my friends that do live there and then from there i'm going to phoenix where i'm going to be going to the 3c yeah the 3c create capture convert to go hang out with my friend chris record and also hang out with tons of other really cool people there as well and so i would love to if you guys are anywhere in any of those areas hit me up i'd love to meet you guys um, i'm planning on doing something special at each one i'm going to do these things called shark bites where i'm going to basically be interviewing people or taking some of my takeaways and sharing them with you directly from wherever you are at, at the world. So again, I really appreciate you guys. I hope you got a ton of information. I hope I did a good job for you. Uh, I appreciate you guys for being online with me. And again, congratulations to everybody that was online. So this is Carl the Shark Shookert, and we're gonna go ahead and end this episode right now.